Hi parents, today I'm going to be showing you the My Fluency Lessons folder for our students that we're going to be beginning starting now in January. Um, there's going to be two forms that are going to go home, the reading log and the actual fluency folder. Some may be yellow, some may be other colors, but these will be the ones and they'll have little boxes on. So each night we will be doing this homework. It takes one minute. We're just going to basically look at the growth of our students on how many words they can read. Um, our goal is uh, for our students by first grade to be reading 60 words per minute and second grade 80. So we want to start getting them on that route. So this is why we began this homework and we really would just want to see what their struggles are and how we can help them. So today I have my friend Natalia and she is going to read and I'm going to put my timer. Whenever you do this uh, homework with the kids, you can use your cell phone. There's a stopwatch app. Or you can use a timer. You can also use a microwave if you have one available. Um, or the oven, the timer on the oven. Any, any one of those will work. So it's simply just one minute and they're going to read to you. So we're going to turn to the first story. It's called I See Sand. Natalia, are you ready? All right. Go ahead and begin. Use your pointer finger. I see sand. I see the sand. I see one bed. I see the bed. I see sand and one bed. I see the sand Perfect. Natalia read this story in 20 seconds. So on this sheet where it says my reading log, I'm going to put today's date. The title was I See Sand. And she took 20 seconds. And then, as a parent, you would sign this every day. Now, if you can see on this first sheet, there's going to be boxes. So, I See Sand was the first story. If you look at the bottom, it says, The student must read each story in less than one minute in order to continue to the next story. So in this case, Natalia did read I See Sand in less than one minute, so I'm also going to sign here. Also if you want to place a sticker to motivate them or anything, but this is basically the tracking chart we're going to use in order for them to move on. And as a teacher, I'm going to be able to look at this and know you know what stories they're struggling on or whatever the case may be and I'm actually going to monitor this in the classroom as well. So if Natalia would have not finished it in less than one minute she would have stayed in the same story for tomorrow as well. So until she finishes that story in less than one minute she's able to move on. Thank you.